My name is James Phelps. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I moved to California in 1960. Uh, my name's Bud MacArthur. I moved here from Michigan almost 18 years ago. First came to Lancaster Easter Sunday, and I was just so impressed and with the pastor and, and, and the message. Well, James had come Easter morning and uh, just loved the church. He was all excited about the preaching and the church itself. And I got a, a, a printout, a flyer from the church to make a call on him. And that's how we met that Saturday. And then Bud came, you know. And when Bud came, you know, it was, it was just something about him that I felt I knew him. We had a long conversation and uh, we talked. And he told me I'd come to his class, and I did. So in class, right after a teaching class, we sat in the back of the room there and I talked to him. James, I says, when did you get saved? And uh, he says, it's been a long time ago, but I can't quite remember. Well, what, he says, well, I've been going to church all my life. Through the years, I've, you know, attended many churches. And I says, James, I won't get you to heaven. And then he said, well, I was, I barely remember it. As a young man, I got baptized. Back in Detroit, I was baptized at 14. And I said, James, that won't get you to heaven either. So I said, can I show you so we can make sure? So I did that, and I give, give him the gospel, shared it with him. And James repeated after me and received Christ as his Savior. That was about 11 o'clock uh, so that Sunday morning. And then he came over to the, to the uh, administration building. 20 minutes later, he was in the water being baptized. You know, being baptized, you know, you go down the water big grave of baptism and you come up a new creature to walk in the newness of light. James, this is, uh, it was his fourth week in my class. And he's one of the bright spots in that class. It's just helped me to grow and still walk in the newness of Christ. There were times where I got dry and so winning. It seemed like nothing was really happening. I was out there, but I was going more through the motions than really getting into engaging people with the gospel. And uh, so uh, I just, the uh, Lord spoke to me about it, and I just got more serious about it and got back on the soul winning trail. So um, I'm very grateful that uh, the Spirit led me to Lancaster Baptist Church and for Bud and his wife Sharon and the whole class. I've been serving the Lord for 43 years and I'm 82 years old. And God just brought me and James together. And can you imagine this? An 82 year old man led a 90 year old to Christ. And this 82 year old man is gonna be leading him in discipleship. Wants to start life all over. He even said to me, he said, uh, and cut this out if you want it, because I don't want to bring anything to my glory to me. He's always said, but ever since I met you, my whole life has changed. <laughs>